power supply design technology cultivated over decades is about to change. Through the power of analog digital hybrid. For power supplies of the future. The path we've forged is ours to either embrace or let fade away. The choice is entirely in our hands. Engineering struggles. Digital control of power supplies is gaining significant traction in high power sectors like servers and semiconductor manufacturing equipment, where its benefits are clearly visible. Meanwhile, in low to medium power supply devices, which constitute the majority of electrical equipment on the market, analog control remains the predominant choice. Of course, power supply and set manufacturers are well aware of the advanced functionality offered by digital control, such as operational analysis and variation correction. However, most still hold the view that analog is sufficient as it is. This perspective stems from the significant obstacles of power consumption and cost. We believe that there are many engineers eager to overcome these challenges. We identified power consumption as the biggest bottleneck. In digitally controlled power supplies, a high-speed DSP must continuously operate for feedback control. This can cause power consumption and cost to jump nearly tenfold compared to analog systems. The development of the Logico A power supply is based on the concept of performing feedback control with analog while using an inexpensive general-purpose MCU for digital control instead of a DSP. Before joining this project, I held a leadership role for microcontroller development at Lapis Technology, so I had never been involved with designing power supplies. When I first heard about it, I thought, microcontroller for power control? With question marks swirling in my mind. Until partway through development, I didn't know how the circuits we were creating would be used. To what extent will these microcontrollers resonate with customers? I couldn't envision it at all. Then, when a customer told us that this will change the world of power supplies, my motivation surged dramatically. I have been involved in power supply ICs for a long time. Throughout this process, I continually face the challenge of eliminating eliminate component variations, including peripheral circuits with analog technology. This often requires implementing measures such as increasing component sizes or adding correction circuits. As a result, we were faced with the dilemma of larger area and higher costs. One significant advantage of digital technology is the ability to store memory, allowing for precise reproducibility and the elimination of unnecessary design margins as mentioned earlier. As an engineer, I've always wondered if we could further unlock the latent potential of power circuits so there was no hesitation in choosing the option of integration with digital technology. Digitally controlled analog circuits. This unprecedented idea has led to the creation of a new power supply solution that achieves a variety of advanced functions at the same power consumption and cost as analog systems. For customers, one of the biggest advantages of digital technology is the ability to record operational log data. By continuously monitoring the circuit's status externally, we aim to provide proposals that encompass the operation of the power supply itself. For many power supply designers, the downside of having to start by writing source code for the MCU is a concern. However, the newly developed OS for power control simplifies design considerably. We hope to accelerate the customer development process. This may sound like an exaggeration, but I see it as a kind of revolution. We're shifting the perception of power supplies from merely supplying power without incidents to actively proposing higher efficiency in a smaller size. I'm convinced that this technology holds immense value and potential. By continually advancing this technology, we have already developed a roadmap to eventually offer Logicoa solutions across the entire power electronics field, an area where Rome excels. Our ambitions are limitless.